friends. Good morning. Welcome back. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much to my subscribers. I so appreciate the support. Thank you so much. This morning, I wanted to bring to you this gorgeous acrylic tumbler. This turned out so cute. So this is a double walled acrylic tumbler with a screw top. You can get these lots of places. I bought these in a pack online and I really love these tumblers for the summer. So on this one, I wanted something that was just sort of, you see how it's like see-through. I wanted this light summery see-through kind of look to this. And I thought this turned out really pretty. So this, I did it with alcohol ink. Now, initially, you know, because I didn't paint it and it does have an acrylic base. So I wasn't exactly sure how the epoxy would hold to it. And I was, uh, you know, so I did a, first I did a light layer of epoxy on it and I put the alcohol ink on top of it. Well, that did nothing. The alcohol ink kind of beaded up on there because of the acrylic. And I do have that on the video that shows doing it. So you can see what I'm talking about. So then I put the, I waited just like 30 minutes. I didn't like let it dry or anything. I just waited like 30 minutes and I put some alcohol ink in the epoxy. And again, a very light amount of epoxy and put it on that way that worked perfectly and let me tell you it is so thin like you can't even tell there's epoxy on this i'll show you the top as well like you can't even tell that there's epoxy on this it's so thin like it looks like it's inside the tumbler and it is on there so well now when it first came off the epoxy that I put on initially that was beating up, there was like the cup was dry, but there was a little bit of that, of the alcohol ink, like just on the outside of the cup. It was weird. So I rinsed it through just under some cold water, wiped it off. It was gone. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. And I mean, I'm really so super dig in how this turned out. Like it totally doesn't even look like there's epoxy on it. Like it truly looks like this was just blended inside the tumbler itself. So I've used acrylic before, but usually I have like a base for my epoxy to stick to. So, you know, this was sort of, you know, something different I wanted to try because I wanted this clear see-through look with it. And it really turned out super cute. So I'm really happy with this. And what a cute, fun summertime cup. There is so much you can do with this. So listen, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope that it is helpful to you. Please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. And um, the video of doing it will be attached. All right. Thanks. You guys have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye. See you later. So what I'm going to do tonight is I want to do alcohol ink on an acrylic tumbler, okay? So I have my double-walled acrylic tumbler and 
It's got a screw lid. Now I've got no glasses on, so I can't tell you what that says. I'm sorry. It's like a greenish color. And then this one I can read. It says Lake Blue. This one is Cadmium Red. And then this is a white. And then this is a blending solution if I decide that I need to use it. Now I didn't paint this cup or anything because I actually want to do this clear acrylic because I want it to all kind of show through. That is the goal of this. So I have my epoxy. Now this is blended two to one and it is my standard um, epoxy that I use. It's the Envirotech Light. So these little containers, how cute are these? Um, these right now you can get at Target. It's silicone. These come, two of these for a dollar. And then they have a bigger one that's like double the size. You get one for a dollar. So I got a couple of these and I got one of those. You know, I buy these, um, silicone cupcake liners because you can see so silicone is in there. I mean, the epoxy, it just comes right out. The thing is, I use them so much and, you know, they do have these little ridges. So I was super excited to find these right here. I thought they were pretty amazing. Now, I'll be honest with you, I probably have a little bit more epoxy than I need. But, um, that's okay. You don't want it a lot when you're for this first layer here when you're I'm one of those people that, um, and I think it comes from having such a chaotic job. Like, I can't, you know, I'm okay with one thing being unknown. So, like, all right. So now we're going to go in with our ink. Now remember with your alcohol ink, a little bit goes a long way. And then, you know, you just keep putting on your alcohol ink until you feel happy with what you have going on. My green is staying much better than my red or my blue.
All right, so we're back. This is fun for a little while. It's still, I mean, it's not going to mix. It's not going to look good. So, laying down epoxy on an acrylic tumbler without paint on it, and then adding alcohol ink to it just gives you a mess. So, let's see what it happens putting the alcohol ink in the epoxy. This is definitely better. Okay, so this is gonna be pretty now.
moving nicely. All right, so that's going to end up being pretty after all. All right, so we will let it run. And then we'll come back and see how it looks. And see what epoxy on acrylic does. Or epoxy and alcohol ink, rather. I know what epoxy on acrylic does. That's fine. You just have to have something to hold hold it to. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, look, that thing has only been running for about 15 minutes. I just want you to see how gorgeous that looks. Now the football inside it kind of makes it hard to see like the through it. But I think with that being clear and just being a soft, subtle color over the acrylic, I think that's going to be really, really, really pretty. I still have some drops spinning from the first time where I put it on and I didn't put it inside the epoxy. So I wish that I hadn't done that. And of course, next time I won't do that again. But you know, it's all, these are all about learning and um, you know, seeing what works and what doesn't. So next time I know, but I am super, super happy with this so far.